It's springtime in Australia, and you know what that means. Bright sun, green grass, and attack birds. <coughs> These Australian magpies are a huge hazard, even if you're riding a bike. They'll attack at you from every direction. And your average helmet provides little to no protection for your neck, sides, or even face. Some people even lose eyes because of these vicious bastards. So I was thinking, how can I protect myself while I ride my bike? I've seen dorks with zip ties on their helmets. But I wanted something a little better, something a little bit more permanent. So I started thinking, well, what happens if I put a giant bug zapper coil on the top of my helmet? Charge it up with a couple of 600 volt capacitors. You know, bird makes contact, <laughs> dead bird. Then I discovered these bastards are protected and there's huge fines if you do that. So now I'm just gonna have to go back to my first plan of protecting my head and face. So what I've come up with is actually very simple. You get a piece of um, hospital grade flooring, big hard lino basically. And I'm gonna wrap it, I'm gonna cut a strip out of it, and I'm gonna wrap it around the back of my helmet and around the sides, and that'll look like um shit. Face protection is just gonna be covered by a big pair of sunglasses. Or maybe even that grinding mask. Yeah, I think that'll work, and it doesn't make me look like a total dork. Let's get to work putting the crap on the helmet. First up, I should clean the lino a little. Still looks like crap. I think that's starting to work. Actually, I can see through these holes. Maybe this is better. <laughs> Just don't put the phone back in. No. <laughs> that's actually starting to look like something. I might keep these damn spikes on it. I know the whole point was to not look like a dork, but I'm a dork, I don't care. Look like a dork all I want. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. I might trim these back a little bit so they just come down here. Put some glasses on. This will be a hell of a lot more protected from them pesky bastards. Back of my neck protected. So all is good. Almost looks like a riot helmet. All I need now is something to protect my eyes. And I am now invincible. Add more spikes. More spikes. Gonna be like a fucking porcupine when this thing's done. There we go. Looks like something straight out of Mad Max. Then again, I am an Australian, so Mad Max is a part of everyday life here. Now all I've got to do is go and get my narcissistic, also known as a selfie stick, so that I can hang that out the front of my bike and film looking back 
over my head towards the idiot magpies that chase me around. See what they make of this. Best not forget, eye protection. Connected with my neck anymore, so that's a good thing. Oh, there's more of them. Alright, so that was a good test. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in and see what the missus thinks of this thing. <laughs> Should probably go, you complete idiot, or something like that. Let's find out. Here we go. What do you think of my magpie repellent? What? <laughs> what? You think it'll keep them away? No. Well, it's got spikes on it and it's got side and back protection. It's lino. If anything, it just makes you A, look like an idiot, and B, it makes you taller, in which case that will just attract them even more. Oh, hopefully they get hit with the spikes. <laughs> I put the lino, hospital grade lino, uh -huh. all around the edges and around the back to protect my neck and that. Uh -huh. And then I didn't bother cutting off the uh, spikes on the sides, I just sort of left them there. Mm. And then I thought, F it, I'll just add more spikes to it so it's all Mad Max. And then safety glasses. You look like a fucking chicken. Apparently.